Good morning. I just got a message from Eber saying that he's arrived and he should be on his way after he picks up the luggage. It's only 5.30 uh, a.m. But look at how bright it is outside. Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. <laughs> oh my God. I knew it. I knew you, you were recording too. Coming in, man. Coming in. Okay, so pre Computex preparation. Laptop, check. Camera, check. A little bit of a problem. That laptop is not gonna fit inside this bag, so I'm gonna have to carry that laptop in another bag. So I finally made it to the hotel. I think it's just about time to meet Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I knew it. I knew <laughs> you, you were recording too. Coming in, man. Coming in. All right, I am no longer alone. This little buddy showed up. Ibra, how was your trip? It was good. It was very good. A little bit of an update. Dimitri is playing around with my C100. I'm not sure what exactly is he doing, but um, I hope he doesn't break the camera, so I won't be able to use it for computation. I'm not gonna break the camera, man. I usually shoot at 60i on my Canon C100 for most of my videos. And so Dimitri wanted to test and see if 30p makes a difference. And he's testing my C100 inside a bathroom. Well, hello, Eber. I'm not testing inside a bathroom. It's just the best view from our hotel room here. You guys can see that for yourselves. Let's just close this. <laughs> just to be polite for the audience. <laughs> but yeah, Eber shoots at 60i, which is interlaced. So whenever I see those artifacts when the lines are passing through, you know, this, this happens when you have some motion stuff. And uh, I'm wondering if the 30p version or the 24p is going to give us, I don't know, better better detail in the image. And based on that bathroom test that you just saw, we figured out that Ibra here has been shooting in the wrong frame rate this entire time. How long have you had the camera for now? About a year. I'm gonna let you hold it, it's yours. It's going to be like a, it's gonna feel like a new camera most likely now that you are shooting in the proper frame rate, no? So we did the, the test between 24p and 60i, 60i being the 60 interlaced, which is conformed to 30p, uh, when you import it into your timeline. And you said that you've been importing this 60i footage and slowing it down to 50%? Yes, because sometimes I plan really fast when I'm taking any, any shots of products. So what I do is, is a trick, there's a little trick that I bring it into Premiere and then I change the speed to 50% to make it slower. And sometimes if I'm running out of time, like if I need to, during my voiceover, if I need to just fill that voiceover port with one shot, and if it's too short, then I reduce it to 50%, slow it down basically, and fill the uh, fill that segment. The remaining same. But the weird thing is that 60i doesn't give you actually 60 frames. It no, gives it you a 30p output, but with extra frames sort of interlaced in between. So it's strange how I've never noticed any stutter, but I have been noticing like lack of detail in some of the the more you know zoomed in shots and I'm thinking this is not what C100 is supposed to be like. Anyway, 24p is on the horizon. Are you excited to start filming with a brand new camera? Yes, I am because he opened my eyes. So now I'm actually gonna be using the C100 to its full potential. And most importantly, um, the detail, the amount of detail we were able to just achieve by comparing 60i and 24p tripod legs for the little camera that's recording me now. And where are we heading right now? 
Had a little detour at the Samsung store. And they had Legos on display. How cool is that? Taiwan. You guys are awesome. Pretty awesome. So they have green here. Big nice trees on the sidewalks and nice green buildings too. It's only 33 degrees, but it's humid. So this is a very open area on the inside as you can see. And uh, instead of benches, there are no benches anywhere. There's a uh, station, bus station and stuff. Do you guys notice the pattern? Look at this. People just hanging out on the side of the squares, minding their own business. So let's uh, play a game, find Eber. There he is. Just exploring your symmetrical, artistic, creative side. Look at that picture. Mm. Let's see. The green, green. All right, let's see if buying two of these is cheaper than buying one. So one of them is 49. It's actually cheaper. We were going to walk to the SIM cards uh, shop, but we decided to take the cab instead. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we are extremely sweaty. Nice little park though, and it uh, seems like rain is coming. But we just came back from my phone and uh, got our uh, SIM cards so we can call each other. Right, yeah. Eber? I would hug you, but... I'm sweaty, man. Very, so. very hot right now. So the funny thing is, uh, when we did a speed test, um, you get very nice speeds, but look at what happens when Eber does the speed test with his Taiwanese SIM card. This is what it shows for his server location for his speed test in Taiwan, Windsor, Ontario. And we have no idea why. Maybe Eber, what do you think? It's just attracted to Canada, your phone? I think so. My phone's, you know, I mean, I'm Canadian. So. Weird. Oh. All right, Eber got your key. Let's go check out your room. Yeah, why not? First thing to check out, Eber, as with any hotel room, is the view. <laughs> I have a balcony, woo! You can't go out though, man. I think so, I can. Nope. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Your face, man. No, hold on. Crap. Now, Eber, you don't have uh, access to the balcony, but look at that view. Jesus. We're gonna see Taipei 101 right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, vlog, our second day in Taipei. Second video, Eber, how was your first day in Taipei? Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, I did. It was awesome. Uh, we went outside, walked a lot. And, we uh, did, what, 10,000 steps a day? 10,000 steps a day, according to the Razer Nabu watch. So. Yep. Okay, uh, before we head out, check out this gorgeous sunset filled by the beautiful urban landscape. That is Taipei and the current rush hour traffic that is happening awesome. below us. It looks awesome.